Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of One Man Stream. Now this episode is going to be a little bit different from some of the other episodes uh, that I've done in the past. Instead of totally creating a graphic from scratch, I'm going to use something that I already have at my disposal. And even though you may not have the same um, graphics or you may not have the same uh, options that I'm showing you today, and the option that I'm showing you is something that I have from Final Cut Pro, what you can do with vMix UTC is you can layer uh, different things on top of those animated graphics you might already have and it turns out to be something pretty cool and what I'm talking about is this right here is what we're going to do today and as you can see that top part comes in first and it does its animation and then the bottom part or the matchup comes in after that it stays on for about 20 seconds and then it goes away now I'm going to tell you right now, I did not create that animation. It is actually something that I bought uh, from, um, I think it was Motion VFX. And I initially uh, had used it for football, uh, but what I've done is I've kind of retrofitted it uh, to this vMix UTC layout that you see uh, over my shoulder here. Uh, this is one that I used uh, for boxing or MMA. And I've kind of retrofitted it uh, for this. I have a, a big event coming up on Saturday. And I just wanted to add some spice to the matchup graphic. I also have a similar a version of this for a solo fighter graphic. Um, so I just wanted to uh, share this with you today. Sometimes you don't have to, to make everything from scratch. If you have something available to you, go ahead and use that. And that's what I've done here today uh, by just kind of stacking these things in vMix UTC. I am going to show you how I bring all this together. And there was some timing that you have to do with vMix UTC. So we'll be setting some uh, commands, executing some links, as well as uh, uh, using the uh, timer uh, function with vMix UTC. Today's episode is episode 78, and if you haven't already figured out, this is One Man Stream. What this channel does is we try to show you how to automate uh, your production, uh, and like the name implies, One Man Stream, uh, there's a lot of people out there like me, and you're doing all this yourself, and you're wearing all the many different hats that go into production, uh, so any way that you can streamline it or make it easier, that's what we try to do here on One Man Stream. So today we're going to title this Adding Elements to Create Animations. And uh, like I said, we're going to ba basically be using vMix UTC as the backbone, which is what I do use uh, for every uh, production that I go out in the field and do. And it allows me to automate and incorporate a lot of things uh, into just one push button. If you could stop by our website, onemanstream.com, we have all the tutorials that we've done in the past. Uh, along with a lot of the graphics that we created and a lot of the vMix UTC controllers. Thank you to everyone who has stopped by and supported One Man Stream. I truly do appreciate it. And we're going to start in Final Cut Pro and we're going to show you how uh, we take this uh, uh, template project and we kind of retrofit it for what we're doing here today. You don't always have to create your graphics from scratch. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a fighter uh, matchup graphic uh, that you already saw in the opening. But I'm not going to start from scratch. I actually have some templates for some projects that I've used in other events. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of retrofit it uh, to work for this fighter matchup uh, graphic that we're going to make. So this is the one right here. And I'm just going to drag it down here to uh, Final Cut Pro. And uh, you can use whatever video editing software you have. Uh, you don't have to have Final Cut Pro. I'm just using Final Cut Pro because it is what I have. And I'm going to make some quick uh, changes to this uh, graphic right here. And uh, I'll, sh I'll just go ahead and show you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to play it out a little bit. And I'm going to stop it right there. So all the graphics have pretty much played themselves out. And this is, oops, and this is what you're left with. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the right and I'm going to make my adjustments. So we're going to scroll all the way back to the top. And right here where it says game statistics, I'm going to click in here. And I'm going to type in fighter matchup. And then I'm going to come down here to this color splotch and I'm going to change it to red. And then I'm going to do the same thing for these arrows here on the end. I'm going to change those to red as well. Then right here where it says NF, NFL, 
or maybe that's MFL. Yeah, MFL quarterfinal. I'm just going to get rid of that because I'm not going to use it in this particular case. And then over here where it says New York Asteroids and New Jersey Beasts, I'm going to get rid of that text too because I'm not going to be using it either. Now, one thing that I am going to be using is I am going to be using Team A logo. So this is Team A here and this is Team B, uh, team B here. I'm actually going to change those to the same thing. So I'm going to go back over here to the left hand side where I can make some edits. I'm going to click on the Oh, nope, I'm going to click on right here and I'm going to go to my stills. And this is the image that I'm going to use right here. So let's click back on this to bring it back up. We're going to come down here and we're going to click in this down arrow, which is actually a drop zone. And then I'm going to click on the image that I want to put in that drop zone. And then I'm going to click apply. And as you can see, it put it in right here. Well, like I said, we're also going to put it in for logo B as well. And you notice that when it came in here, it also came in down here as well, which is a really cool effect. So again, we're gonna click on the drop down zone. We're gonna come over here and click the still, and then we're gonna click add to clip. And now you can see where we have it in logo A and logo B, and you can also see it in the background here. So we just have a little bit more editing to do. Let's go ahead and scroll down. And we're going to get rid of the New York beasts. We're going to get rid of this, of these parameters right here. I'm going to get rid of these parameters. I'm going to get rid of these. And then we're going to change one more thing right here where it says football league. We're going to change this to the promotion we're doing this for. Southern Indiana Combat Promotions 4. You can see where it changes to SICP4. This says footer text. So let's come over here to footer text color. And we're going to go ahead and make that red as well. And you can't really see it. So what we're going to do is where it says footer text opacity, we're going to bring that up all the way to 100%. Well, not to 100%. There we go. Bring it about 72%. And that's pretty nice. So that's where we're going to leave it. Let's just go ahead and play it out and see what it looks like now. We're actually just going to use that as a backdrop for a fighter slate that we're going to be putting up for each one of the individual fights. So we're going to go ahead and render this out. We're just going to call it One Man Stream Demo 2. Click Next. I'm going to put it into my... Uh, server here one man stream assets on the server click save and it's just going to take a minute a minute and you'll see it render out up here so once we render that out it looks like this and as you can see the graphic comes in and it has the uh changes that we made in it and the original is only about uh i think it's about seven or eight seconds but i extended it uh, because i knew that this is something i'm going to bring up during the production and cue the talent uh, of the next fight and then they'll talk a little bit about the upcoming fight uh, who the two combatants are what their records are if they've fought before uh, and things like that so i leave this uh, this graphic up for about 20 seconds so right here is when i what i want to draw your attention to which is right here. This is actually a list that I created in vMix. And uh, you can see it right here. These are um, all the fighter matchup slates that the, that the promoter has uh, provided me. And each one of these is a different clip. So as I go through these, direct your attention right here uh, to the left here in the preview window. As I go through these, you can see where the fighters are changing. So I have one of these for every one of the fights that's coming on. And this is the second part of that animated graphic. The graphic comes in first, and then after it plays out for about a second, then you see this matchup pop in. So how did we do that? Well, let's go to this view right here. And this is our, our VMix UTC that we use for boxing and data sources. 
And what we're looking at right here is this new matchup button. So let's go ahead and click on the cog and uh, let's look behind it and uh, see what we have going on. The first thing that we do is we execute a link and we clear all. And what that is, is all the overlays. If I have uh, a couple of the overlay channels activated, I, I don't want to put this over top of something else. So we do this clear all. This clear all actually comes from this button right here. And you'll see I've checked the execute link. I have in here a link that is entitled clear all. And then what this is doing is overlay input out on overlay channel two. Same thing, overlay input X out where X is overlay channel two. This is X is overlay channel one. Overlay input X out where X is channel three, overlay channel three. And then the same thing, the same command here where X is overlay channel four. And all of this is under this button that I created that says clear all. I just incorporated that in the very first command here, the execute link, you see it here. And then I call that link that we, that I just showed you that's called clear all. The next thing is I go to a quick play to the SICP frame. And that is what we uh, just created in Final Cut Pro. I let that run its course over three seconds, which is 3000 milliseconds. And I'm using the timer command for that. And then what I do is I overlay input X on overlay channel four. And that's where I bring in the uh, fighter slates. And I can use vMix UTC, and I'll show you that in just a moment. I can use my vMix UTC layout to sort through uh, the fighter matchups. Uh, I had to mess with this a little bit. I just had to run it out several times to get the timing correct. But I found out that after about 13 and a half seconds, the graphic starts to uh, complete itself. And so then what I did is I just waited that 13 and a half seconds, and then I used this command overlay input X off for overlay channel four. Overlay channel four, as you remember, is the one that we have the fighter slates on. This is the fighter matchups right here, and I just created some buttons. And you'll see as I push next and previous, this uh, area is gonna go up and down in this list. So let's click next. And you can see it goes to uh, Schlitt versus Peters. We're gonna hit previous. It goes up to Gowdy versus Hamlin. We'll hit previous again. It goes to Faye versus Void. 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 And we'll push it one more time. And it goes to Omar versus Garnett. So that is actually how I would use it uh, during the production. So let's go ahead and bring that match up in. And then just know that I'm clicking these buttons. I'm going to click the next button. And you can see it change to uh, five versus Boyd. I'll push it one more time. Gowdy versus Hamblin. I'll push it one more time and it comes up Schlitt versus Peters. And then this toggle matchup button that I created, I'll click it again and it's going to take it away. And the reason that it does, and this is the button right here, the reason that it does, let's look behind it, is again, we used our familiar overlay input X. And when we use this command overlay input X, it works as a toggle. The first time we push it, it's going to display it. The second time we push it, it's going to take it away. And just one more example, we'll push it once. It comes in, I'll push it again, and it goes away. Now, the other thing that I had to do, and you'll notice, let me bring that demo in one more time. When I run this demo, you can see that after it runs, that something else happens. Now, the one more thing that I want to do to this is after it runs its course, I don't want this de black blank desktop capture to stick up here like it is, is I want it to go to the active channel or the active camera that I have, uh, you know, that I have queued at that time. So how I'm going to do this is I'm going to go to the, this is the graphic right here. I'll go ahead and play it out. You can see it playing out in this window right here. This is the graphic. So what I'm going to do is I am going to click this cog and I'm going to put a trigger in here. And I'm the trigger that I'm going to put is on completion cut to active. So on completion, I want this to cut to the active camera. And then after you do this, you have to click add and you can see where it brings this trigger in. 
So now let's go back to this. Let's push this demo one more time and let's go ahead and run this on overlay channel three. And after this guy runs, it's not going to remain blank or uh, black here like it did before. It's going to go to the active camera. Okay. Let's try that one more time. There we go. And you can see where it comes back to our camera shot right here. So basically what we did, instead of creating a graphic from scratch, we used something that we already had and we retrofitted it. I can quickly pick out uh, which fight we got going on. This one here is gonna be Davis versus uh, Van Rimsburg. So I'm gonna click on that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and click on this new matchup. And when I do that, the graphic will play out. You'll see where that uh, the motion graphic comes in from Final Cut Pro. And then it brings in our Davis versus uh, Rensburg. That's going to stay in here for a while. And actually, it doesn't play out over 20 seconds. Uh, this one plays out over, yeah, it is. It says 19 seconds. So it's about 19 seconds. You can see it go away. And then you can see it come back to this. I hope you found today's tutorial interesting, where we talked about uh, adding elements to create an animated graphic. And what we did is we retrofitted something that we already had from a, a template package that we had, and we retrofitted it for our fighter matchup. If you get the opportunity, please stop by our website, onemanstream.com, where we have our graphics and much more. And I do want to thank, uh, once again, those who have supported One Man Stream. Thank you so much. Now, make sure you do give us a thumbs up and a like, and make sure you do uh, hit the subscribe button so you'll be alerted as soon as new videos are posted. And as always... Thank you so much.